Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to share with you an internal linking study that I did where I created 155 internal links, and we're gonna see whether or not it helped improve the rankings of several pages on my website. Uh, I did this all for free using a internal linking tool that I will talk to you about, and I'll talk to you about a couple of different types of internal linking tools as we go along. Now, I was gonna release this video in about two weeks from now, but I saw that Alex from WP Eagle released an internal linking video today, so I thought I'd piggyback off that, and hopefully uh, my ones would be recommended at the end of his channel, and his ones will be recommended videos at the end of mine, so we would be able to support each other and help push each other up. Plus, whenever people in this community are sharing videos on the same topic around about the same time, I like to give them a bit of a shout out um, just to say thanks and uh, to let them know that um, you know I'm acknowledging their work and their videos and trying to push some of my people over to them as well. So go and check out Alex's video on internal linking. It's in the description below. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about why we should do internal linking, how we should do internal linking, um, comparison of three different methods. Two of them are free and one of them costs money. And then the results of adding 155 new internal links to my website. Okay, so why do you need to do internal linking? So internal linking is basically where you've got, say you've got five pages on your website and those pages link to one another. Um, so three primary reasons why I do internal linking. First one is it helps spread link juice throughout the site. So if you've got a link pointing to one of the pages on your website, uh, you're getting link juice from that other website to your website, which can help improve its rankings. Now the theory goes that if you link from one of your pages, it's got a lot of link juice to another page in your site, a little bit of that link juice and that authority seeps over to the next page that you're linking to internally. The next thing is it does tell Google which pages are relevant to one another and what we call topical relevancy. So say I'm writing a, uh, a how-to or, or a best X for Y article about the best boxing gloves. If I write a couple of supporting articles about uh, how to clean your boxing gloves and how to store your boxing gloves and link them all together into sort of a little bit of a cluster, it helps Google understand that you want to be an authority on boxing gloves. Okay, so there's two sort of key ways in which you want to do internal linking. I've used both methods. The first one is what I'm calling the spider web method, where essentially it's just uh, random linking. Whenever you see an opportunity to link to another page in your website, you link to it, and you're not trying to make sort of clusters of topically relevant topics. You're just linking all over the place on your website to try to spread that link juice. The other way is the hierarchy method. I'm not gonna go into the hierarchy method too much, but essentially, you're sculpting your links a bit more so that all of the articles within a cluster are linking to one another, but they're not linking out to other clusters. So you're telling Google you've got several different clusters of topics on your website. Now, the method that we're gonna look at today is the spider web method, which is usually the most common method, especially for display ad websites. Okay, so there's three ways that you might wanna do this. The first one is doing it while you write. So as you write an article and you come across a key topic or key phrase that you think you'll be easily and naturally able to weave into your paragraph, you might wanna weave that phrase in and then link to the article. So for example, let's go with our um, idea of an article on the best boxing gloves. As you talk about some good boxing gloves, you might notice that one of the boxing gloves that's on Amazon that you're reviewing has something that has maybe a free cleaning product, a free bit of whatever glove leather cleaning that comes with the boxing gloves. And when you mention uh, the cleaning product for gloves, you might wanna link through to how to clean gloves on your article on how to clean gloves. So that you're creating a little bit of topical relevancy on your website about how to clean gloves. And you can just do that um, just as you write your articles. Now that is obviously 100% free. You can just do it whenever you want. It doesn't take much time because you just do it whenever it's convenient to you and whenever the idea of linking comes up. And then the last one is effectiveness. It's pretty low effectiveness, usually because you always link to older articles, but older articles never link up to newer articles. Okay, the next method is Link Whisper. This is the one that Alex over at WP Eagle just talked about. Um, this cost is pretty expensive. I think it's about $70 a year. And um, it's probably the best way to do it. It's probably the most effective way to do some internal spider web link building because what Link Whisper does is it I actively identifies chances to interlink in your website. And within five or 10 minutes, you can create you know, hundreds of internal links just by using the Link Whisper sort of auditing tools within the website. So it's low time consumption, high effectiveness, and in order to reach that low time consumption and high effectiveness threshold, you're paying a little bit, a bit more money 
uh, to, to sort of for that convenience. Now the third method, which is the one that I've just done, is the Ahrefs Webmaster Tools. This is a new free product that you can get from Ahrefs, which is a bit like Google Search Console, but it is way, way better. The time consumption for this method is very high. It took me all day to insert those 155 links, but the effectiveness is high as well because it essentially does what Link Whisper does, but it's not automated. You have to manually go in and insert those links on every single post. So if you are, uh, don't have money to spare and you want the effectiveness of Link Whisper, but the uh, don't want to spend the money, then maybe Ahrefs Webmaster Tools is the way to go. So here's how you want to do it with the Ahrefs free method. Just search for Ahrefs Webmaster Tools in Google, click onto that first link, the Webmaster Tools link, and sign up to Ahrefs and verify your domain. When you verify your domain, you can do several different methods. I use the Google Search Console method. If you're really a bit iffy about sharing your data with Ahrefs, that's okay. You can verify your domain in one of the other ways that they provide. Next is you want to start a site audit. So you can see there's a row of different idea, uh, different things that you can do at top of Ahrefs. You can go to your dashboard, site explorer, etc. Click on site audit. You can see there that I've got five uh, different projects with five different websites of mine. I've blanked out a few of them and I've left the niche Safari one visible. If you haven't, well, when you get started, you obviously won't have any projects yet. So you'd click that new project button and then you would insert your domain name and get, let uh, Ahrefs do its job auditing your website. And then once the audit is finished, you can click on the link. Now, one thing to be really careful of is don't actually click the blue link up the top. Uh, click just anywhere on this sort of uh, the rest of that row. Uh, or else it won't take you to the correct screen. So you should be taken to this screen now, which is the correct one, uh, if you want to jump over to internal link opportunities. And you can click the link opportunities button on the left-hand side there to get over and look at all the possible linking opportunities. So this is the page that you should get to, which gives you your link opportunities. Now there should be a list. So for my site, there were 155 link opportunities. Uh, I've just come up with niche Safari and a couple of little made up uh, link opportunities for niche Safari. But what you've got is you've got the, the page where you can add a new internal link where Ahrefs has decided there's a chance for you to add an internal link. And then a keyword that you can use as your anchor text for the internal link. So for example, it might have found on your website that you have this phrase, this, uh, this sentence, internal linking helps with search engine optimization by improving your site's topical relevancy. Now what Ahrefs does is it realizes, because it's searched all of your website and audited, that you might be ranking for the keyword search engine optimization. But you've got this phrase here, search engine optimization, that doesn't internally link to that page that's ranking for search engine optimization. So it's suggesting that you go over to this page so how to build internal links is the sample page. Edit the page and link to, link create an, a, a link, uh, an anchor text link, search engine optimization, to the page that's ranking for that keyword search engine optimization. Similarly, if you're ranking for the term topical relevancy, they might want you to highlight the term topical relevancy that you've written somewhere on your website but not linked to that page that's ranking for the phrase topical relevancy. And then you just have to insert the little link there. So it's not automated. You have to do it all yourself. You'd have to click on the source page, edit the page, search for the keyword, and then create the link to the article that you need to link it out to. Hopefully that made a little bit of sense. So I did this, I did 155 internal links for one of my pages. It took me several hours, so not minutes like you'd be able to do Link Whisper, but it was free for me. And then I waited 14 days. I was actually going to wait a month, but as Alex put out his, his video today, I thought I'll just put my video out as well and see if I can sort of uh, piggyback on what he was writing about. So what happened? Here are two specific ones that uh, I linked to probably 10 to 15 times, uh, there were lots of link opportunities for these specific pages. Uh, and you can see not too much happened. There's a bit of a flat line here and a little bit of a jump for this one, but nothing, uh, nothing too sort of significant, nothing huge. And then let's have a look at the overall, after adding 155 links, the overall rankings for my website using the SERP robot rank tracker. Now, usually my website rank, ranks top three for somewhere between 55 and 61 articles. Today, I'm up to 63, having done nothing but 
uh, that link audit uh, about two weeks ago. I haven't added any new articles to this website for since February. Uh, I've got an extra four top 10 articles and an extra five top 30 articles. So it does look like there's a little bit of an improvement, nothing significant. And you know, maybe this may have happened naturally. It wasn't like my website suddenly took a big boom and boost. Um, so can we put it down to the internal linking? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I think it's pretty inconclusive. As with most of my case studies, uh, I end up going, well, there might be a little bit of a change, but nothing uh, of, of too much significance. And you know, we have all these case studies out there on the internet where people say, oh, this one tool changed my life. And as you've seen with my Surfer SEO case study and with this one, it's usually not just one thing that totally revolutionizes the website and brings it back from the dead. It's doing all the different things. You know, That's a phrase Matt Diggity has, do all the things, do everything right. And together, all of those little things might help boost your website. But Internal linking on its own, while I think it's good practice, it hasn't 100% uh, you know, d done anything magical for my website, in my opinion. So hopefully that's helped you out with an idea on how to do internal link building for free, helped you learn a little bit about Ahrefs Webmaster Tools, and of course, giving you a bit of a realistic idea of what might happen if you spent a day doing free internal link building.